Greetings from Pastor Lisa and the Solon United Methodist Church, back for another music moment in our sixth week of Easter. I hope that you've printed off the uh, words that I sent with the email for our liturgy and for our songs so you can join me in worship. I'll start with the call to worship and read the line that says one. If you would read with me the line that says all. Let us be in worship. Come and hear what God has done. God has made the world and breathed the breath of life into us. But God didn't stop there, there's more. God sent his son to teach us how to change our hearts and lives to follow him. God is still on the scene, upholding all our life, surrounding us in power and love. We live, move, and have our very being in God. Let the sound of God's praise be heard. Blessed is the maker of the world, giver of life and breath. Praise God. Will you join me in praising God by singing, Seek ye first. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Alleluia, alleluia. Ask and it shall be given unto you. join me in our prayer. Source of all creation, maker of the world and everything in it, you are never far from us. We come seeking you, giver of life and breath. Reveal yourself to us, dwell with us, and abide in us wherever we are today. We live because of you, we hope because of you. Forgive us when we are too preoccupied to notice your presence in our lives and fail to see the wonder of you upholding our lives and all creation. Fail to see you abiding with, within, and around us. Fail to savor your presence in holy moments, instead feeling abandoned in the vast sweep of life as each day rushes at us with its demands. Open our eyes to your presence, God of love, that we may lean on you. For you hold all of creation in tenderness and power. May we live out this profound truth mindful of the beauty, the hope, and the calling of living in you. In the name of Jesus Christ, in whom we live, and the spirit of truth who abides in us. Amen. Our scripture today is from the epistle of 1 Peter, chapter 3, verses 13 to 22, in the NIV version. Who's going to harm you if you are eager to do good? But even if you should suffer for what is right, you are blessed. Do not fear their threats, do not be frightened, but in your hearts revere Christ as Lord. Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have. But do this with gentleness and respect, keeping a clear conscience so that those who speak maliciously against your good behavior in Christ may be ashamed of their slander. For it is better, if it is God's will, to suffer for doing good than for doing evil. For Christ also suffered once for sins, the righteous for the unrighteous, to bring you to God. He was put to death in the body, but made alive in the spirit. After being made alive, he went and made proclamation to the imprisoned spirits, to those who were disobedient long ago when God waited, patiently in the days of Noah while the ark was being built. In it only a few people, eight in all, were saved through water. And this water symbolizes baptism that now saves you also. Not the removal of dirt from your body, but the pledge of a clear conscience toward God. It saves you by the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who has gone into heaven and is at God's right hand, with angels, authorities, and powers in submission to him. Here ends the reading of God's word. May we be blessed by it. For our song, I picked Let the Redeemed. It's a contemporary song, and you may not have heard it before, but it's been on the radio for quite a while. But it really gives a testimony of having the reason that we have hope. So I chose to sing it for you. Play it a few times, and I'm sure you'll be able to sing it.
so let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Sing of his promises evermore. Pour out your thankfulness. Let it overflow. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Let me out of the desert. Took the shackles off my feet and there's no sound louder than a captive set free so let the redeemed of the lord say so sing of his promises evermore pour out your thankfulness let it overflow let the redeemed of the lord say so After sweet victory, and there's no sound louder than a captive set free. And there's no sound louder than a captive set free. So let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Sing of his promises evermore. Pour out your thankfulness. Let it overflow. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. We read the benediction sending with me. Wherever we are, we are in God. Wherever we are, we are in Christ. And Christ is in us. Wherever we are, the Spirit abides with us and in us. Be prepared to give your reason for the peace and hope upheld by God in every way. Let us go forth in faithfulness and trust. Go and serve the Lord. Amen. <laughs>